we'll call this part two on this uh, three-point chipper. Instructions said check all the fasteners. You better check all the fasteners. Half of them were not tight to actually loose. There's a few that's supposed to be loose-ish. So you can rotate the chipper drum. You got anything jammed up. But the rest of them ain't. And if they were hard to get to, they were not tight. So I guess I got problem with labor. A little Chinese hand don't want to do his job either. I'm shocked. So anyway, a little over three hours later, everything is tight. Now what got me pissy, every single bearing on this thing, uh, the only lube in it was what came from the bearing manufacturer. All the housings were not lubed. So the first bearing I went to Grease took uh, 12 strokes. I said, okay, this is weird. I took a grease fitting off the next bearing and no grease has ever gone through that grease fitting. That kind of sucks. So when you get one of these things that's brand new, every single bearing has got to be filled with grease. And next thing, you got your bearing collar and a, a retainer that goes on your shaft. All those were assembled dry. So I'd go back and anti-seize all the set screws, uh, torque them down to 30 or 40 foot pounds. Same thing on the shaft collars. Uh, they were actually rusty, just like my shafts were. So I'd go back and anti-seize all that, all the fast. all the internal shafts within the housing. I don't feel like opening it back up. Uh, covered in rust. Sprayed them down PB blaster. On the knife blades, there are four knives, two upper, two lower, two bolts each. About half those bolts. I got at least a quarter turn on. On the back side over here, you see the little slots cut in the housing. You've got blower vanes. It's a quarter of the three-eighths uh, formed iron. Two bolts each. Half of those were not tight. Had to go back and tighten all that. And then from front to back, top to bottom, every single fastener had to be checked. Like I said, half of them were not tight to loose. Uh, why didn't the dealer check it out? Uh, they were just tickled, slapped to death as this thing finally came in. And had they checked it out, I would have gone back and double checked their work too. Uh, so you get one of these things, go through it. Don't trust they did it right at the factory because I'm telling you right now, they did not. Uh, too many things I found. And uh, just enough to make me pissy. And I even put it to a tractor and hooked it up to the PTO shaft yet. Uh, one thing I did find that was done right, the clearance between the anvil and the blades. Book calls out for a heavy 30 second. And it was between a light 32nd, 32nd, and a heavy 32nd. So we'll call that good enough. Ambles deep inside this housing, about midway over in this area. You can't hardly see it. And there's no way to get any type of measuring device down there to measure it. There's no clearance. So it's strictly by eyeball. Design flaw. I suppose if you took the end feed chute off, 
you could do that if you want to manhandle that end feed chute and try and get it off and back on again. Uh, that's one way of doing it. Not my preferred way because that's cumbersome. It probably weighs 40, 50 pounds, but it's cumbersome. And that's a two person job. That's not a one person job. Uh, my wife couldn't help me do that. Uh, weld quality uh, looks decent. I don't think it was robot welded. I think it was a little Chinese guy over there. Thickness of metal, yeah. It's got some iron in it. Not particularly displeased about that. But uh, what's going to tell the tale is how it chips. I'm not going to put you know, four or five, six inch piece of wood in here. I'll cut that up and use it for firewood. But you know, three inch and down, uh, it better chip it. That's all I got to say. Fasteners that are supposed to be a little on the loose side Right here and right here on the other side you remove one bolt This is your pivot point to rotate your chute uh, back over this way uh, There's a nylock here and a nylock here This is your tensioner for your belt and that's got to move so you don't want those tight or the tensioner won't move correctly uh, I found this bolt uh, barely tight and this is a bearing mounting bolt that should have been torqued down to 75 100 foot pounds I found the same thing on this other bearing over here bearing not tight I gotta double check that one I forgot uh, on the outside here where the hub is those were tight I take that back. I did check these over here, uh, there and there. They're tight now. They were not tight. So, uh, yeah, you get one of these things brand new, you better go through it. Check it real close. You're going to be in for a world of hurt if you don't. Uh, I think I said I was about three hours into this. That's about right. I'll take a little break. I got a little travel trailer up here. We turned on the AC as soon as we pulled up here, so it's nice and cool. So, I think I want to go in there and get the travel trailer. Might even take a nap. All for this one. Thank you.